Hello guys, welcome back. This is KMR. I'm coming up with another tutorial for PCSX2 game. So today I've got a, a show tutorial setting for game Final Fantasy Durga of Cerberus. So let's start into the config. So for the video setting, plugin, I mean, okay, let's back to the plugin first. Uh, for the plugin JS, I'm using the AVX2 uh, for another setting for SSE2 uh, or SSE4. It depends for you uh, on your processor. Is it Intel or AMD? But for now, I'm gonna uh, leave it default as AVX2. So the configure. So as you can see. For the editor, I'm using NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. For the render setting, I'm using Direct 3D 11 hardware, which means it's using the VGA, not your processor. For the intro lessing, keep it auto, and texture filtering, just keep it blinner. So, large frame buffer, check it. And internal resolution I think it's whatever you want uh, it's depend about your graphic uh, rendering if you had a problem with the frame rate you can just leave it into default one into the native or 2x just choose whatever you want for the anti topic filtering I'm using 16 as a max map mapping keep it basic and CRC hex level, keep it automatic. And check the enable HW hex. And the, for the advanced setting, check the oligon sprite and preload frame data. MSA, keep it zero. Half pixel offset, off, sprite off, run sprite off. And for the shader configuration, I didn't change anything. So just I just checked the text of filtering of the display and FXA shader just to make the graphic more smooth. For the OSD configuration, I just keep it as a default, just enable the log, doesn't affect anything. So this is the GSDX plugin setting. Uh, okay. So next, I'm gonna show you about the audio. I'm using linear, simple, and X Audio 2.7 as recommended, and uncheck everything on this line. So okay. So for the previous problem issue that. The most problem is because the video scene on Final Fantasy doesn't run smoothly. Is it like bug, black screen, something like that? It's because the video player doesn't support the hardware plugin. So for fix that, just go into the window setting, uh, click the game fixes. Don't forget to uncheck the preset and check the switch to GSDX software rendering when an FMV play. So this thing gonna switch your uh, plugins plugin into software rendering while you using hardware rendering. So basically, when you play a game. You're gonna switch back into the hardware automatically, automatically as a the uh, as your first setting. So when the video player coming or the field or the video player scene uh, on the game comes, it's gonna switch automatically into the software rendering when it's played. So for fix the problem, the previous problem, but the video player or the video scene, just switch this thing switch to gsdx software rendering okay so let's strike into the gameplay let's speed it up i'm gonna zoom out 
this first k as you can see the video scenes runs fine doesn't have any bugs or something like that just keep it smoothly doesn't have any problem okay let's skip that so when the, this thing comes out it's mean we're gonna we're automatically change back into the first setting between using the hardware direct 3d 11 hardware and yeah seems fine okay Let's do the first game, first chapter. See any video scene as far as fine, doesn't have any bug something. Okay, let's skip that out. Let's try into the gameplay. Huh. As you can see, the frame What's rate going on? still keeping it attack to the 60 runs smoothly, and the, the graphics seems fine. It's pretty much HD actually. Found you. you. Just skip that. Okay, as you can see, the gameplay runs smooth. So I've been playing this game about two hours, fighting boss at this stage. Doesn't have any problem about. You know the frame rate or graphic issue, which is pretty much run smoothly. So I think this the setting is pretty much okay with Final Fantasy Jurgen Cerberus. So guys, I think that's it for now. I you guys, I, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. If you got any question. Just leave it on the comment. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer it right away. So thank you for watching, and I see you in the next one.